what is up guys so hills kids anybody and everybody out there that is watching thank you so much for joining us today i'm super excited about today's lesson i hope you guys are good with a nice beautiful change of pace you see sometimes when i go outside in the morning and you just hear the birds singing and it's nice and calm and peaceful everything just feels right but guys sometimes things don't feel right sometimes things seem really really difficult like we can't overcome them like it's a middle school soccer team versus the FIFA World Cup winners or a high school football team versus the um, Bengals who just won the uh, Super Bowl guys. It's like it's sometimes there's things that seem impossible. And today we're going to have a lesson about that. Today we're going to learn about Joshua and his people and how they overcame a one to five ratio one kingdom versus five and how the lord provided for them so let's check out today's lesson so guys the story goes something like this josh and the people of israel are hanging out they are in the promised land and they are ready to get started right they have been um defeating evil kings and wicked people and they have been um well honestly scaring a lot of the kingdoms and the, the kings of all of these kingdoms realized they had two options. They could either befriend Israel, or they could try and fight them. Now, there was one kingdom named Gibeon, who decided that instead of um, thinking they were better than God, they decided to befriend the people of Israel and make an alliance. But this didn't make the rest of the kings happy. There were several other kings, in fact, five of them, that decided that they wanted to go against Israel. Can you imagine five kingdoms versus one, that just doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem like it's going to end well for the one, right? Imagine five teams versus one in any sport. Can you imagine how unfair that would be if there was like 50 people on a basketball court versus 10? That's just not going to work out. But the Lord provides, right? We've been talking about what a miracle is, and a miracle is a way for the Lord to show us how powerful he is and how much he loves us. And this is a great example. So let's read in our Bible what God did to help the people of Israel defeat all of their enemies. So it says here, guys, in Joshua chapter 10, verses 9 through 15, that after an all-night march to Gilgal, Joshua took them by surprise. The Lord threw their enemies into confusion before Israel, and Joshua and the Israelites defeated them completely at Gibeon. Israel pursued them along the road along Beth Horon and cut them down all the way to Azekah and Mekeda. As they fled before Israel on the road, down to Beth Horon to Azekah, the Lord hurled hailstones down on them, and more of them died and were killed by the swords of the Israelites. Uh, on the day the Lord gave the Amorites over to Israel, Joshua said to the Lord in the presence of Israel, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, and you, moon, over the valley of Ahalon. So the sun stood still, and the moon stopped till the native avenged itself on its enemies. Wow. So, not only did the Lord confuse the armies that were attacking them, not only did he send hail down to distract and wound the uh, enemies, but he also held the entire sun still so that they could continue to pursue after them and defeat them. You see, guys, in today's world, we're not going against armies and kings and enemies like that. But we're going against different enemies, aren't we? Pressures from school and others, friends, uh, teachers, people telling us all the things that we should do and our own desires, right? Sometimes we have to fight those as well. But the reality is, if the Lord will stop the sun for is the people of Israel and help them defeat their enemies, he will stop the sun for you. There's the first in the Bible that says, if you have faith of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. So guys, whenever we run into trouble, remember that Jesus is here, right? Uh, in the battle for the people of Israel, God stopped the sun. And for the battle for the rest of our lives, God sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins so that when we face a battle and when we face an enemy we have someone we can rely on so guys thank you so much for watching if you want to watch the full bible story you can check it out after this video if not thank you so much for watching i'm going to see you guys next week on the next episode bye god was with his people when they entered the promised land Joshua and the Israelites defeated the cities of Jericho and Ai. They made peace with the people of Gibeon. 
Then one day, a king called to four other kings. These kings did not love God or worship him, but they had heard about God's people and they were afraid. The first king said, Gibeon made peace with Joshua and the Israelites. Help me attack Gibeon. So the five kings joined forces and went up with all their armies to fight against Gibeon. Soon, the men of Gibeon sent a message to Joshua, help us, save us. All the kings in this land are fighting against us. So Joshua and his whole army went to help Gibeon. The Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid of the kings, for I have handed them over to you. Not one of them will be able to stand against you. Joshua and his army marched all night and surprised the five kings' armies. As the Israelites fought, God confused the kings' armies and helped Israel defeat their enemies. The five kings' armies fled, but God sent hail to stop them. The battle wasn't over yet. Joshua needed more time to fight before the sun went down. So Joshua prayed to God, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, and moon over the valley. The sun stood still, and the moon stopped for almost a full day. Israel and Gibeon defeated the five kings. As the Israelites traveled in the Promised Land, they took over many other cities. God fought for his people and helped them conquer the land God had promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then, for many years, God gave the Israelites peace and rest from their enemies. Joshua's name means the Lord is salvation. God fought for Joshua and the Israelites, saving them and giving them victory over their enemies. Sinners can look to God for victory over sin and death. God brought us salvation by sending His Son, Jesus, to die on the cross and rise again.